Uh, good afternoon, Gaffer. Um, on reflection of the game against West Brom, were you left quite encouraged with the performance despite the result? I think the overriding factor is frustration and disappointment, of course. Um, football games, you have to try and find a way to win. Um, I, it, it felt as if it was going to be nil-nil. It felt neither team was really worrying either goalkeeper too much. Um, we obviously hit the, inside the post, across the line and into his hands. Um, I think the stats said we had, they had two shots on target over the 90 minutes. Um, but unfortunately for us, one of them ended up in the back of the net. Um, but enough encouraging to, to go to West Brom, who had a decent home record, I think. And, um, you know, the games I watched them play, they, they scored four against Blackburn at, at the Hawthorns was, was one of the games I watched. Um, I felt we stifled them pretty well first half and I thought we got on the front foot more second half and looked as if we could nick it. Um, but unfortunately, we ended up losing it. So um, the encouragement about it is that we can compete with the team in the playoff positions and, and away from home and, and go toe to toe with them, which was encouraging. Uh, more importantly, we've learned that West Midlands Police did uh, arrest a man on suspicion of racially abusing Janino Bakuna. How's Baka been this week and how important is it that the club get behind him? Oh, listen, I don't, I don't think it's affected him emotionally. I think he's, um, he's still mad as a hatter, to be honest. But, um, but yeah, he, he's been fine. He's, he's good. He's, he's a very, very, very talented young footballer, you know, I would suggest. And watching the, some of the things he can do in training is... Uh, is a, a delight to watch, but um, you know I, I'm only trying to teach him about the things he needs to keep getting better at and improving. And um, I, I can't teach him to, you know, drag it, flick it through the back of his legs, through somebody's legs, run around the other side, flick it over someone's head. He can do all of that stuff in his sleep. But um, yeah, he's a good kid. I, you know, I, you have to take away the layers really. And, and he's a he's a decent human being underneath the um, the exterior, but. Um, yeah, I don't think it's affected him too much, and yet I haven't been in these meetings with the police, etc. And um, I'm sure it has affected him to an extent. But on the training ground, he's, he's been his normal um, effervescent self. Having had a bit more time on the training pitch as well recently, have you seen improvements in the lads and seen them adapting to the way you want to play? Yeah, I think so. I think they've been training really well, to be honest. It, um, you know. I've, the sports science department always tapped me on the shoulder saying, oh, no, it might be enough, the, the, their meterage is high. They're, they're working really hard. They, they are pushing themselves in training to try and replicate the demands of what we want to do. And um, yeah, that's, that's healthy, I think, that they're working their, their maximum in training. And then we hopefully can repeat it in games. So um, yeah, I, I can see the improvement. I see a huge improvement from the first few days when I was here, when I was... Um, when you come from one environment and you go to a different environment and the, and the levels are, are a bit different, it, um, we, we are trying to raise the level and um, they're getting there, I would suggest. They, they now have got a different set of demands on them and they're trying to make them work. And and I genuinely feel as if we can go to anywhere now and play any team and give a good account of ourselves and uh, make sure they'll know that we're in a game. You've been out on the brand new pitch here at the training mm. ground this week. How positive has that been, especially with the weather? Yeah, it's great. Um, I think here, you know, it, it, it's important that we, we, we get both pitches done to, the, to a really high standard. And um, I think if you're going to try and develop a style of play and you're going to try and develop a, um, a continuation of, of what we're trying to do, then because most match pitches are of a high standard, um, I think it's important that we practice to, on, a, on a decent surface and take up any excuses any footballers might have away from them that the pitch is too bobbly, the pitch is doing this, I, I, I miscontrol that because there's a bobble. I think it's important that um, we are a professional outfit, we have to, we have, to have professional standards and um, I think it's important the pitches are of the right quality to, to, to practice what we're going to try and bring on match day. Looking at the game tomorrow, you'll certainly be targeting the three points, but is it important that you don't underestimate Sheffield Wednesday? Listen, I, I've been in the league too long to, re, to, to um, underestimate anybody. I think every team is more than capable in this division. 
they've got players who can hurt it. You know, any team. They, you know, I've been watching their, some of their recent games. I, I know they, you know, they made nine changes in midweek against Coventry and, and lost four goals. Um, Huddersfield for an hour they were nil nil and making it a really tight game, and then in I think twelve minutes they lost four goals. And you know, it's, um, if you're going to take anything from that, you would you would might take that if we can start fast and aggressive and, and score early they might they might find it difficult emotionally but um, I don't know they look to me as if they're a very competitive team they play on the front foot they're aggressive the transitions are fast and direct and um, so they're good at set players we have to be very mindful that every team can give you problems and I've got no no um, queries in my mind that this is a really tough game and um, you know I would I would guard the supporters from the mentality of this is an easy game. There's no easy games in the Championship. Sheffield Wednesday is a big football club. They've, they've having a tough season, of course, but we're having a tough season as well. And um, it will be a, a, um, a difficult game for us away from home. But trying to get the mentality right, we have to go there and be really positive and aggressive and try and get the three points. To, to get that those three points as well, you have to be a little bit more decisive and, and more clinical in the final third. Well, what I would say, listen, no, nobody's not trying to be clinical and decisive. I think they're all trying to um, put the ball in the back of the net. I think um, you know, the frustration of the Leicester game a couple of weeks ago was, was was there for everybody to feel, really. The chances that we created, they weren't only half chances or slight chances, they were big chances and um, we we you know didn't manage to take any of them. There wasn't too many big chances last week and yet, um, you know... <laughs> We hit the inside of the post, across the line, into the goalie's hands, but I don't sit here and think, oh, he should have definitely scored in this opportunity or that opportunity. As I would say about West Brom, they didn't really threaten too much either, and um, it was a tight game. Any football team has to score goals to win football matches, as we found in them two games, no goals in them two you know, games, where we should have got something from both of them, potentially, but didn't get anything because we didn't score. So um, we have to go to Sheffield and, and score on the night, I'm pretty sure, to get to get the result we want. This will be the last of four straight away games as well. Is it a bit of a target of yours to lift the away form, which has been a bit of a stumbling block for Booz this season? Listen, we want to win every game. You know, We haven't been able to win it at Leicester or West Brom there. Um, um, you know, difficult the games away from home. Yes, a team top of the division and team fifth in the division. It's then they're, they're not easy football matches. It's got no divine right. I think we should go to them grounds and win. Um, and yet I felt we went to them grounds and give a really good account of ourselves over the over the two ninety minutes. We have to continue in that vein. Now we're playing against a team who are currently sitting in the bottom three. We have to maintain our levels, play at the level we can play at, and um, and see how they react to that. And you know, hopefully they find it difficult to react to it. And um, but we have to be very respectful that they they can win football matches. They have a. A young coach that seems very driven and plays on the front foot and um, yeah, we are looking forward to the challenge and hopefully going there and finding a performance that gets us the points. You mentioned after the West Brom game that Jordan James was perhaps unfortunate not to start. Is it good to have that depth now and that competition for places in midfield especially? I think that's probably what I'm most pleased about, you know, on the transfer window signing three good footballers, I think. That's... Um, create some depth in the squad and that's some what I would consider really good players are now sitting on the bench, probably kicking their heels, not too happy and yet when they come on they have to show me that they should be starting and um, and I think that's the best way, the top clubs, that's what they do, they fill their whole football club up with talent really and um, and we, we are trying to get there, we will try and do that again in the summer we'll just bring good players in and football is a competition within a competition the players who train every day have to get in the team and so there's the competition from with their teammates and then we're competing as a club against other clubs so um, yeah I'm really pleased with the, with the players that we brought in and um, I think it can help lift the general standard of, of what we're trying to do. In terms of injury news are there any updates with the lads currently out? Um, well the, the most recent one is Alex, of course, Pritchard. He, he, he had a tight calf at half time. We decided to take him off. I think, I think this, without definitively saying it, I think this Friday might be a little bit too soon for him. Um, 
I think Dion is, is still a week or two away. Um, and John Ruddy is a few days away from getting back into training, I think, so he won't be ready for to, for Friday night, but is um, is pretty close to coming back and joining in training. Uh, was it a real positive to see as well Ethan Laird being able to come back and play the full 90 last weekend? Yeah, yeah really good. He's, listen, he's a character in the dressing room. He's a... He's obviously a wonderful athlete and um, very vocal on the pitch. Yeah, an important player for us, I would suggest. And, um, you know, we, we, we need to try and build things around players like Ethan. We need to keep him fit. And, um, you know, he, he's um, he's a natural leader, I, I, I think, for the, for the group. Um, there's not too many vocal footballers in the group. Um, we've got some very talented footballers, but not necessarily vocal. And and if you were going to pigeonhole Ethan in, in, in one category, it's it's vocal. He, uh, you hear him before you see him most of the time, but um, but he's a good footballer, he's a great athlete, and he's, he's a good human being, yeah. And just finally, in terms of George Hall, is he almost ready to see some minutes back on the pitch? I know you'll want to be very careful with him. Yeah. I think the plan's a, a 21s game this week coming up, I think it's in Monday, I think um, maybe half a game, just ease him in, he's been training now for a week or so, but um, I think it's important he gets a match game scenario under his belt and not straight into the first team environment, When whilst we have a lot of players at this moment, we don't need to rush him back. Um, so hopefully he gets through 45 minutes with the 21s and and then we just keep training him and, and trying to build him up. And when we feel the opportunities there, we'll, we'll give him an opportunity. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Gaffer. Thank you.